As promised last week, we're bringing you a really exciting car this week. It's a show-winning and extremely rare 1970 Buick GSX. Since I first saw a Saturn yellow one as a kid in the late 70s, I always thought these cars were impressive. Once I learned more about them, I loved them even more. Follow along as owner Gord Martin gives you all the details of his McCacken winning and good guy's muscle car of the year finalist Buick. You're sure to be impressed as well. Now, let's go for a ride. Okay, so uh, now we're going to talk about the white, the Apollo white uh, 1970 GSX stage one four speed car with 29,000 original miles on it. So uh, the gold GSX was re restored or refurbished at um, Auto Craft in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And one of the fellows that worked there, Todd Miller, said, hey, I got a, I got a line on a, on this white 70 stage one four speed car. It's all numbers matching, the, the transmission's out, the engine's out. It's kind of rusty and it doesn't smell very good because it was outside in the rain. <laughs> so he asked if I had any interest in it. He had a few other fellows that were looking at it. And I said, by all means, that is, that's the holy grail for a Buick, you know, for a Buick guy. Um, you know, that is the holy grail muscle car, four speed, stage one, checked all the boxes. The fellow that ordered it, um, ordered it to drag race it, so I assume he ordered it with manual steering, which saves a little bit of weight and you know, doesn't drive a bump off the engine. So, uh, he said, yeah, it's available. So I purchased the car, um, sight unseen, I saw some pictures, he verified all the numbers were correct, the distributor, the carburetor, we had everything, everything right for that car. And uh, so the first time I saw it was when we went picked up our gold GSX on our way to the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. And up to that point, I hadn't told my wife I bought this car. And, you know, she, she made it very clear many times, you have to tell me if you're going to buy a car. Like, don't surprise me, right? So... I, I had owned the car for probably three or four or five months and never told her. And I was waiting for the right time. You know, and the right time never really seemed to come <laughs> until we were pulling into the driveway in Eau Claire. <laughs> and I was sweating profusely, profusely. Honey, I got some good news and some bad news. Anyway, so she, she took it all in stride. She was a little bit annoyed with me for a while, but... Uh, she realized that it, this was a special car and uh, she did comment that it didn't smell very good when we looked inside the car because it was pretty moldy <laughs> but uh yeah so that was the first time we saw the car and uh, after that uh, they got working on restoring it at auto craft uh, restorations and race cars and um, that was probably about a two-year process to, uh, with covid and all the other stuff that was going on. We really wanted to put it in the barn find section uh, when we showed the gold car in 2018. We wanted to put it in the barn find section and then bring it back the next year fully restored. But we couldn't We couldn't make it happen. Uh, um, so we we brought the car back in 19 with just the, just the chassis was done. It was a rolling chassis. The engine was in, the transmission was in, the exhaust was on. The wheels were on just the frame went to the show in 2019 and it was at, right at the end of the buick display and really was really amazing that the people that saw the car have never seen the underside of a car we talked about this a little bit earlier everybody sees the shiny parts you know and they get in and but they never see the underneath part uh, which holds everything together so it was really cool you know fathers and sons were talking about the what they could see the engine and transmission and uh, yeah that was that was really cool to watch you know people's reactions at, uh, to that and then we were going to bring the car back in 2020 restored but then uh, the show was cancelled uh, so we showed the car in uh, 2021 and uh, it won concourse gold we did, the car was actually unveiled next to another car that they had done at the shop they did a blue 71 gsx both cars got unveiled at the same time 
it was a double uh, first time ever for a double unveiling and uh, it was right at the bottom of the stairs when you walk in the display was phenomenal and the the public really really appreciated uh, those two cars so yeah so we uh, now we have it here um, so we took it to good guys and we ended up uh, qualifying for the top 12 muscle car of the year for good guys and took it to the Buick uh, the Buick Olds Pontiac show and won best Buick with that car um, it's uh, it's I am the second owner of that car I have the have the original title from the from the first owner of the car so real low mile 29,000 mile car it had you know I know I know you're this is if this car could talk and I'm sure this car could tell a lot of stories the the owner the previous owner apparently had some issues and the car actually sat outside and he at one point somebody said he sold the trunk lid off it for money uh, he, he needed some money and he, he didn't sell the car but um, so consequently a lot of rain went in the trunk and mm. you know what that does uh, and it was in Eau Claire it was in Wisconsin so you know they have snow and rain and everything else up there as well so the car the car was pretty rusty and uh, so you know it went from being this race winner to being neglected you know in a field um, recently we had dinner with some Buick folks that came in for one of the car auctions and one of the guys sitting there was telling me a story about a white GSX that was sitting in a field in Wisconsin <laughs> with no trunk lid on it and he tried to buy the car and the guy wouldn't sell the car and he's like I don't know whatever happened to that car and I looked down and I said well I own it now <laughs> so uh, so it's out of checkered past probably as most cars do maybe um, this to me you know, I grew up in a Wildcat, a 69 Wildcat. My dad had brought home when I was 12. Um, never thought I would ever own, you know, a car like this, let alone, you know, maybe even a few of them. <laughs> so, so anyway, we're, we're really proud to own this car. It's a real special car. Thanks, Gord, for you and Sandy graciously opening up your garage and home to us as we got to see your entire Performance Buick collection. It's truly an impressive collection, and one we'll never forget. Next Sunday, we'll be bringing you another Buick GSX from the Martin Collection. It's a strikingly beautiful 1971 Cortez Gold example that was shown at the incomparable McCacken Show in Chicago, where it so impressed the people of Auto World die-cast cars, they accurately replicated it in 118th scale. We even got it up on a lift so you can see the detailed chassis. You don't want to miss this one. See you next Sunday and remember, please be careful out there.